with Conan O'Brien. Tonight, Academy Award-winning actor Michael Caine. From the new movie, Anything Else, Jason Biggs. And musical guest, John Stone and the Miami All-Star Soul Musicians. With the Max Feinberg 7, now, here's your host, Thank you very much, everybody. Welcome to the show. We got a fine one tonight, right, fellas? Oh, <laughs> yeah. That was so phony. <laughs> the band cannot act. Ah. No, tonight we have a... Uh, what? It's going to be sweet tonight, huh? <laughs> 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 I don't know what I'm doing out here anymore. <laughs> About a year ago, I lost my mind. I've been crying out for help on the show, no one doing a thing. So much to talk about tonight. Big, big showbiz news. You probably all heard this over the weekend, just before their wedding, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck broke up. Aww. Yeah, yeah. Afterwards, afterwards, J-Lo was very upset and said, I'm not used to breaking up with someone before I get married. That's the difference. It's kind of new for me. It's got a big ass in it. Just threw that in as a bonus, you know? You get an extra can of soup, at, you know, if you spend so much at the grocery store. Big news out of California. Big, big news. Yesterday, a judge in California ruled that the state must postpone their recall election until March of next year. They're going to postpone it. Yeah. Yeah, after hearing this, Gary Coleman was thrilled and said, this means I could be in the news two years in a row. That's what he said. <laughs> he was thrilled about it. Yeah. Hurricane Isabel. You all heard about this? Hurricane Isabel is headed up the East Coast. Some meteorologists say it could hit New Jersey. I think it might hit New Jersey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, experts say if the storm does hit New Jersey, it could destroy hundreds of homes and do almost $5 worth of damage. <laughs> La Bamba lives in New Jersey, don't you, La Bamba? <laughs> Your perv shack will be ruined. <laughs> and then I got to mention this. This week, Playboy magazine announced that they're putting together a brand new pictorial called The Women of Walmart. <laughs> that's true. The Women of Walmart. That's, gonna, that's true, yeah. Yeah, you can tell Playboy is running out of ideas because their next pictorial is called The Sort of Hot Chick at Home Depot. <laughs> that's for that. It's her and she's wearing like a thong. There's one, yeah. You can do that. And get that issue at La Bamba's Perf Shack. <laughs> Selling it out of the basement. That mustache is not real. All right. Such a good show tonight. We got a great show. Uh, I love this man, and I'm in love with him, and tonight I get to tell him. Uh, he's in the brand new movie, Secondhand Lions, Academy Award winning actor. How often do I get to say that? Michael Caine. Is on the show. Michael Caine is here. Yeah. Michael Caine's on the program. Very cool that he's here. You know our second guest, of course, from the American Pie movies. This guy has gone to third base with more pastry than uh, <laughs> anyone I've ever met. Jason Biggs is on the show. Don't touch that cake in the green room. <laughs> um, 
total control of my instrument. And then, uh, <laughs> and this is very cool, musical guest Joss Stone and the Miami All-Star Soul Musicians. That is very cool. Right there with us tonight. And of course, right over here, at Jimmy Levine on the Max Klein Bursum Jimmy. I think that's a mistake, Jimmy. I think it's a mistake to play a song that good that builds up like that because it stops right when people want to hear it kick in. And then people have to choose, would I have rather have heard more of that song or listened to this guy? So, and it uh, creates a tension in the room. That song, keep... people want to now hear Tina Turner come out and go, I lift a good job, you know, shit. We could, all night. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no now. It's how do you go from that to hello, everybody? <laughs> Good show tonight. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Very difficult. Play songs that people find annoying. Uh, play really bad songs from the 80s so okay. that when you stop and, and I start to talk, people are like, yeah! <laughs> okay. So glad that crap is over, you know what I mean? You just gotta look for those kinds of tunes, all Tune right? In Not tomorrow. that stuff. Yeah. That Tune stuff in tomorrow. Doesn't... We'll give you a real bad one tomorrow. Real bad okay. 80s tune that the okay. minute you start it, you know, people don't want to hear it finished or anything. Okay. You know, tainted love, I've got to <laughs> get away. Uh, and then when you stop, people are like, whoa, <laughs> Conan's back. And they're all excited. Okay. It's all, you got to think about these things. That hurt when I did that. All right. As you are uh, no doubt all aware, Ben Affleck and J-Lo have called it quits. They're, they're through. They're kaput. And uh, everyone I've talked to is very broken up about this whole thing. No one is taking it quite as hard as our trumpet player, Mark Pender. He really believed in this relationship, and he's crushed. Isn't that right, Mark? Oh, J-Lo, how can you stand there And watch my poor heart break You've already been married so many times What difference would one more make? Oh, Ben, oh, J-Lo How could you stream? all along I used to think God existed but now I know I'm wrong Please, go back to the bandstand and behave yourself. Mark Pender, everybody, give him a hand. I'm sorry. Those women up there look terrified. <laughs> and I gotta thank that guy. There's that guy right up there who, as you were singing about Ben and J-Lo, went, yeah. <laughs> He's thinking about, no, it wasn't him, it was that guy. You got the wrong guy. Now he's gonna get beat up after the show. All right, my staff's a little kooky. <laughs> All right.